Welcome back. It's the opening night of Wagner's Lost Opera. Of course, we're not just here for the music, we're also here to try and help Gabriel. Now let's hope all goes according to plan. Well, uh, let's explore this opera house a bit, the Wittel Wittelsbacher Theater in Munich. And uh, presumably Gabriel's around here somewhere, so let's see. I could use some fresh air, but I don't have time to go outside. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Let's see. Oh, it seems this leads into the uh, main hall. We have one hour, people. Herr Emmerding. Herr Emmerding. Yes, Mr. Costello. Herr Emmerding, I must again protest about my lack of vocalization in Act 3. I have not a single note until the transformation hour. Now, how many times do we have to go over this? You are disguised as a silent minstrel. I know that. But an aria, sung to the audience, off to one side, would be very effective. Hildegard has one? Yes, but the audience is not supposed to know it's you until the transformation into a wolf. It's a surprise. You know, surprise. I realize that's the way it's written. I simply disagree with its effectiveness. Your opinion is noted. As if they could change it an hour Stand before the opening. Ready, Georg. You go. I, uh, I want to go over this one more time. He looks nervous. Let's see. Can talk to him? How are you holding up, Georg? Oh, man. I'm going crazy. I wish I had never blacked me up Klaus into letting me conduct. Don't be ridiculous. The opera was your discovery, Georg, remember? You'll be famous after tonight. Assuming I don't make a complete ass of myself. Getting cold feet, it seems. Oh, a little late for that. We'll just have to cope. I'm not sure what else to say to Georg. What are these guys doing? Ah, the crystals. How's the installation going? All right. Will the last one be up soon? Yeah, soon. I'm not sure what else to say at the moment. And actually, speaking of the crystals, we have a the chandelier diagram in our inventory now. It's interesting that we got the talisman back, but as far as I know, we're not going to use it. Let's see. Wagner's layout of the theater. Indicating the positions of the chandeliers. And X marks the spot. I suppose that large X had something to do with the seating arrangements. It's in a nice line from the chandeliers. I suppose. Well, if this is the main area of the auditorium, then where would that be? Somewhere behind us, I suppose. Can't really see it from here. Let's see what else there is. A hallway. How unexpected. Um, where are we? Oh, there. There we are. In one of the side loges. And I guess that's where the uh, X was. Can't do anything with it from here. Maybe we'll be able to get to it via some door. Not on this level, though. I guess we'd have to get upstairs. And okay, now we're in the Another loge next to it, and I'm guessing this is going just going to lead to another part of the auditorium. Yes. 
Not surprising. Where does this go? The office. And there's Gabriel. How do you feel? Like someone's put broken glass in my brain. I thought we'd have you back in Rittersburg by now. The Smiths are waiting for you there. It's okay. Just stick me in a room somewhere. Are we ready for the test? I'll check. Could you see about some heat, Gracie? I'm really freezing in here. Are you cold? Sure. It's cold. I'll see what I can do. Guess we'll have to find the central heating switch or something. You do that. What's up with the painting, by the way? <laughs> Can't look at it. A dress. Not for Gabriel, I suppose. I'm not ready to get dressed yet. For Grace. For later, it seems. And some stuff on the board here. Old playbills and schedules. Old playbills and schedules. And a seating map, by the looks of it. A seating chart. This might be useful. Let's compare that chart to the uh, diagram. It's a seating chart for the theater. Wait, right? Left? I guess it's seen from the entrance in the back. Rechts and links. Um, middle. Center. And uh, that I can't actually read. The large X on Wagner's diagram is in an area called the middle loge on the seating chart. I'd better check it out. Indeed, that's where I thought it was. We should check it out. For that, we'll need to find a way up to the second floor, I suppose. Anything on the table? A note or something? Here's that list I made. That's a to-do list. Exactly why didn't you have that with you? I don't know. I made this list of things to do. Let's see, we need to test the chandeliers. Um, I guess we should talk to the, uh, the guys who are putting them up about that. Gabriel to be safe in Rittersburg, Night of Opera. It is here. Warn um, H.I. Who's that? Not sure. About possible distraction. Wait until last minute. Um, figure out where to seat Von Glower and Labour. Inform Usher of seating plants. Set up secondary spotlight on Von Glower. Run it myself. Find way to trap Von Glower in seat. Set up MTG with oh, set of meeting with Labour at theater. 
Make sure he's armed. Okay. Then we know what to do. There's a pair of binoculars here. I'm sure those will come in handy too. Um, let's go back to here, because we should um, inform Georg about the distractions, possible distractions, and also talk to the chandelier guys. Georg, I need you to promise me something. What? There may be some distractions tonight in the audience in Act 3. I need you to keep playing no matter what. What distractions? What are you saying? Don't get upset. It's just, well, it is opening night. The audience might be a bit rowdy, you know? Are you serious? But we have extra security lined up, so if anything were to happen, it would be taken care of. So just, you know, keep playing. Grace, I... I do not even want to know what you are talking about. This is a brand new Wagner opera. I am not going to stop the performance, even if, if Wagner himself comes floating out on stage. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. As if he wasn't worried enough. Let's see how the chandeliers are coming along. Herr Silbermeier, I know you're working as fast as you can, but we're opening in less than an hour. I really need to run through some music once you're done. Why music? They will not fall down. I'm sure they won't, but uh, look, you told me they'd be done by noon. Well, you are lucky that we could even make them in so little time. And then we drive them here special this morning. I know that. I know. You've been great. It's just... Is everything at least going according to the diagram? Yeah, we make it work. What do you mean, we make it work? <laughs> this diagram is not so good. Uh, we make changes, yeah? Oh, my God. Look, there weren't supposed to be changes. I told you to follow the diagram exactly. <laughs> Maybe in 1945, we follow diagram exactly. But today, we make changes. What are you saying? These measurements are not the same as today. Now, if we make the chandeliers the same distance from each other, just as marked, but the distance from chandeliers to the walls, no, not the same. Why aren't the measurements the same? This is the Wittelbacher Theater, isn't it? Yeah, but not the same Wittelsbacher theater. The bombs hit the first one. This one is very close, but smaller. But everything looks so old. Oh, they take the art and the wood and save it. Remake theater later, after the war. Of course. Of course. How could I be so stupid? I'm a history major. Oh, it's okay. The chandeliers were good. Same distance from each other. But just not to walls. Yes. I'm sure you've done your best. Thank you. You should have thought of that. Because that is actual historical truth. The Mittelsbacher Theater was rebuilt and slightly smaller. Man, we almost went the entire game without mentioning the Second World War. Well, I suppose it had to come up sometime. Well, we'll see if we can find uh, the Mittelloge in the next video.